Ashes of Creation is an open-world, non-faction-based MMORPG set in a high-fantasy world. It aims to bring the massive back to massively multiplayer. In this video, we discuss the use of monster coins in Ashes of Creation. Monster coin events are dynamic events triggered by player activity. Monster coins aren't used to start the events and can only be used once the event has begun. The monsters spawned in these events attack nodes and players. Nodes cannot be destroyed or deleveled by monster coin events, but monsters may attack and shut down certain buildings or NPCs in a node if not stopped. Successfully defending against a monster coin event rewards players with cosmetic rewards. There is a progression system to level a player's monster skills based on how often they participate in monster events. As a node advances, so does the scale of the monsters. There are tiers of events denoting the caliber of the monsters that can be spawned. The tier of the monsters dictates how powerful the monster will be. The tiers of monster coins are Legion, Elite, and Epic. Legion monster coin events are common and occur up to the village stage or a level 3 node and include small hordes of monsters. Elite monster coin events occur between village to metropolis stages or node levels 3 to 6 and includes dungeon level bosses and mobs. Epic monster coin events are legendary events that occur between the city and the metropolis stages or node levels 5 to 6 and include legendary bosses. Monster coins cannot be traded and are rare loot drops in game or can be purchased from the cosmetic store. Monster coins can only be used during monster coin events. There will be server-wide messages for when monster coin events start. If no players use their monster coins for an event, all the monsters will be controlled by AI. Once a monster has been controlled by a monster coin, it cannot be controlled by another. It is important to note that monster coin events cannot start just before or during a node siege and citizens cannot control monsters that are attacking their home node. There is still a lot to learn about the greater impact of using monster coins and ashes of creation, but as the game progresses you can expect us to cover the updated information in a future video. If you enjoyed this game guide and found it helpful, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it does help us to grow. Also, clicking the bell notification on the channel ensures that you don't miss any videos posted here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so be sure to leave a comment on this topic and tell us how we're doing. We welcome you all to join us on discord.gg forward slash samorg to catch up with our community. And don't forget to check in with asheshq.com or the Ashes Pathfinders podcast to stay up to date with Ashes of Creation. Until next time, friends, you all stay safe and we will see you again real soon.